Hey there, welcome to this video. Today we're working on toe mobility and I will guide you through three exercises you can do at home to increase the mobility and range of motion of your toes. A lot of us have very poor and very limited movement and range of motion in the toes because we wear shoes that are too tight and we don't use the toes therefore enough. So the first tip I can give you, which is in addition to those three exercises, to just be more barefoot. Be barefoot without any shoes, without socks, as often as you can at home, if it's warm enough, outside, in the park, in your garden, whatever it is. If that's not doable for you to be fully barefoot, then I recommend to look into barefoot shoes. Those are shoes that are designed to give you oftentimes even give you back the, the freedom that your feet and your toes need. So those shoes have a thin sole, so you have a good sensory feedback to the floor and they also are wider so that you can actually move the toes outwards and also upwards in all directions better. I will add some information in the description below that will help you to find your barefoot shoes and I will also list there the brand that I like to use that I recommend. The second uh, tip is to do a rollout for the feet using a tennis ball or a MFR ball called myofascial release. We have a video on this topic, Bree taught one on this. I will link it up here and you can check that out. So this is kind of the stuff that you can do every day, the rollout and then wear your barefoot shoes. So now let me guide you through three exercises to specifically increase the mobility which means the range of motion and also the range of motion that you can control without any external force in your toes. The first one is a nice long toe squat. So we are sitting on the heels. You can just follow along. Come onto the toes and you're sitting on the heels. This is the preparation for the second exercise we're doing. And now here in the first one, we're just sitting on the heels and we're here for about two minutes. So I got the timer going and uh, you enjoy. So if this is uh, of course too much for you and you cannot stay in it for the whole time then and you have to end early maybe then this is already the, the exercise you need to be working on because this is just preparing for the actual mobility exercises. So if you're already now um, uncomfortable and it doesn't feel good and you cannot do more than a minute then you should just do this one and skip the the second one um, for now stay with the breath especially if it gets intense my feet are kind of sore this week from training a lot so i feel this for sure but let's all just stay in it um, together One more minute here. And for the second exercise, we still got about 30 more seconds to go, but I'll explain it real quick because we go right into it. For the second exercise, we're doing uh, what's called pales rails in mobility training based on functional range conditioning where we stay in this position so you're staying in your end range and then for 20 seconds we're pushing the toes into the ground towards the back of the mat and you're holding it there for 20 seconds maximum effort and then you release and then you're trying to pull the toes up towards the shins or towards the foot for 20 seconds and we're doing three rounds of that <clears throat> so now we can go into the into this part i just explained when you're ready press the toes down push them back 20 percent effort first we're slowly increasing 40 percent 60 percent 80 percent effort and now 100 percent maximum effort you're pushing the toes down and back hold it there for 20 9 8 7 6 5 four, three, two, 
One, ten more seconds, keep pushing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, now pull the toes up towards the shins. Twenty, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release, relax, but stay there. So you still wanna stay in the end range, just like we did already for the last three minutes or so. <clears throat> Quick break here, I know it gets intense. You can also come onto the fingertips to put a little bit of the weight off because you still remain in the end range in your toes, but you just don't have so much weight pushing down into it. So if this feels better for you, then go ahead and stay there, <clears throat> but still in the full maximum end range. You're doing two more rounds. When you're ready, start to press the toes down. 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, Your maximum effort, best effort, press the toes down. 20, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Now we're lifting the toes up for twenty, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, release, but stay there. In this end range, quick break, couple breaths, deep breaths. <clears throat> I know it's intense for me too. One more round. I know the toes are screaming at you. Just last round, then we get off this position into something else and we can take a well deserved break in between the second and the third exercise. Ready for more? Let's do the last round. Press the toes down 20%, 40%. Start to engage more muscles in your body. 60%, 80, and 100%. Best effort, press the toes down. Squeeze more muscles, everything in your body to help support. Press down for 20, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, release, lift the toes up, squeeze, lift up, 20, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax, release, stay there, three more breaths to finish up. Deep breaths, breathe deep through the nose. and release, come out of the pose. Maybe come into a squat. Take your time. Set the hips down. Shake out the legs, shake out the feet if you need to. Move the toes. Beautiful. We're now coming into a squat. Actually, there's two versions of this. So you can do this in a squat, which is the more intense version, which is the one uh, I'm doing. That's why I said come into a squat. But you can also, if that's not accessible for you, you can also come into a slightly standing position. So you have the knees, uh, the hands on the knees, or you just rest like stand or rest like this, and then you move your toes. Let's start in a squat and give this a try. First, so full squat down. And we're now only moving the toes. You want to keep the, the feet on the ground so the three points of contact stay on the mat. So the heel, the inside of the, the big toe and the uh, pinky toe stay on, on the mat. I will rotate this way. So we're now lifting only the toes up. We start with the big toe 
only keep the other four toes down and keep those two points of contact on the mat as well. Then you lower the toe down, the big toe. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last one, lift and lower. If that's not accessible for you at all, then you come up and you do it here. Lift, lower. Let's all together do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. So now you decide if you want to stay here or come down into a squat. I will go down into a squat, but only because I'm doing it doesn't mean you have to stay in this position where you can move the toes. If you're in a squat and you cannot move your toes at all, doesn't make any sense to stay in the, in the squat, then you come up to this kind of standing position. Now for this next one, we keep the big toe on the ground and you lift only the other four toes up. Lift, lower, lift, Lower, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, release. Now we lift all the toes up first and then lower only the big toes down. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lift all the toes back up, very good. Now the opposite, you keep the big toes lifted and you lower only the other four down. Lower. Lift, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, now last one in this position, and in, in general, last exercise um, for this practice today, you keep the toes all lifted, and you spread the toes, just like you would spread your fingers, and then you lower the pinky toes down first, the ring toe, whatever it's called, the middle toe, index toe, and then the, the big toe. Okay, so lift everything up, Spread as well as you can, lower from the outside inwards. Very good. Lift, spread, lower. Lift, spread, lower from the outside in. Two more, spread, lower. Very good, spread, lower it down. Very good. This with the spreading is a hard one for me too. I'm working on it every day. And in general, you can release, set the hips down. I recommend you work on this last exercise with the toes, either in a squat or standing every single day. It's something I do as part of my morning routine. And in addition to being barefoot, wearing barefoot shoes, doing the uh, rollout for the feet and the toe exercises that all everything I showed and explained in this video, all of this together will help you to increase the range of motion and mobility of your toes and will eventually also help you to have healthier feet. As you know, the feet affect so many other areas in your body. So by working on the toes and improving the feet, you might also improve other areas of your body and your physical well-being. Keep up the good practice. I recommend you do this several times a week, this whole video. And the last exercise with the toe movement you can do every single day. Thank you so much for watching and for practicing with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.